I'm Constance Camille, and with me is Leslie Hausman, the first grade teacher with whom I have been working for several years. Mathematics educators agree that we want children to have a deep understanding of mathematics rather than a memorized acquaintance with the subject. And we want children to feel confident in their ability with numbers. This videotape shows Leslie Hausman's classroom practices and how she encourages children's confidence and their deep understanding of mathematics. I want to direct your attention to two things, the teacher's use of questions and her encouragement of exchanges of viewpoints among children. I use questions first to make sure I understand each child's thinking. These questions are not just for my benefit, because children clarify their thinking when they have to explain it to somebody else. My second purpose in asking questions is to help push children toward higher level reasoning without telling them what to do or whether an answer is correct or incorrect. You will see, for example, when one girl produced an incorrect answer, I did not express my opinion. Instead, I asked the other children if they agreed with her. Let's go into my classroom on a typical day. Okay, raise your hand if you want to read the problem out loud. Uh, Marianne. A racist cost five cents each. Howard has saved one, 62 cents in his jar. How many erasers can he buy? Okay, in the school store, erasers cost five cents each. Howard has saved 62 cents in his jar. How many erasers can he buy? Anybody have a question about that? Okay. This videotape consists of two parts. In the first part, the teacher circulates among the children, interacting with them individually or in a small group. In the second part, she leads a whole class discussion about the different ways in which the children solve the problem. As you can see, the children begin by working alone because we want each child to have his or her own idea about how the problem can be solved. When the children have an answer, they usually compare notes with a neighbor and then choose a math game to play. Come up with an idea. Okay, tell me about what you did. No more left. Okay, tell me about all these lines. So how did you know how many lines to draw? 62. 62, how come? Yeah. And then he had 62 cents. I see, so you drew the 62 cents. Mm -hmm. And then you circled five each time? Mm -hmm. How come? Why don't you circle five? Because it costs five cents to buy the eraser. Okay, do you know how many erasers you can buy? Well, I see. Good thinking. Can you put your name on there? Two so more left. Two more left? Two more what? Two more cents. Two more cents. Can you buy any For more left erasers left. with that? No. How come? Why couldn't you buy any more erasers with that? I'd have to be three more cents left. You'd need three more cents to go with it. Fantastic. Most first graders think about 62 as 62 ones, as you have just seen. But a few, like the next child, think about 62 as groups of five. Tell me about what you're doing, Bobby. by fives and putting the numbers down in order, and then I put um, the num and I put down the numbers like that. That's the first one, and then I got down down to the end. Um, one, he has 60 cents, and um, after that he can't, he has 62 cents, um, and it cost 60 cents for 12, and if he had one more, then he can't, because then he'd have to have 65 cents, so um, it has to be 12. So that's it? Mm -hmm. What about the other two cents? Um, those, um, you don't get, you just can't you buy anything else with it. How come? 
because um, that's not enough money to buy something because it's only two cents, not five cents. I see. How did you know to count by five? Because all of them cost five cents. I see. Thank you very much. I'm all right. I'm easy. Tell me about what you did here. <laughs> okay. How come, Luke? Because you see, yeah. um, this is what I did. Um, I did five, and you see, she had um, 62 cents. And this would be um, 60 cents, because it would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 60. And that would mean she could get um, 12 bracelets all, with all of these, first, and she would have two more cents left. I do. Can, can you tell her what you disagree with that she did? I, I don't, because she went to, I, I don't, I counted by five. Sixty-two. Sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 25, okay, that would be, you see, I don't know what you did wrong, but, I don't know, I, I, that's just another way, and she may be counting wrong, something. No. -uh. You disagree with 13, too? How come, Jason? That's, you shouldn't have a six. That's 50. 55, 60. You shouldn't have a hat. You shouldn't have the 60. You shouldn't? You have to have the 60. You need to sit down. Because that's one. Because that's one eraser. I don't know what's wrong. 62 is not an eraser. 62 is not an eraser? How come? Yeah. That's not enough to pay for. Oh, yeah. Because you see, you see, let me tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. You see, you gotta check on the cable before you do something. Cause she, she okay. How does sixty-two cents? And no, um, see, um, if you're saying that I must have counted like one twice, or I must have counted this. You know what? You don't need that. You you gotta erase that. That you don't need that. You can't really erase because, it. It has to be on this. I know. You would have to cover over it because then you see. You, you couldn't buy another racer with two cents. They're five cents each. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I, I was just writing the 62 cents and I was counting my five. I see. You see, you don't, you don't need the 62. It's 62 is not in five. Yeah. It's You're, 50. It's 60, 60 you five. need. Jason, when you said this isn't an eraser, what did you mean? Um, yeah, it's like not enough to buy a eraser because all, because she has like 60 cents here and that would cost five more from 55 to equal 60. And that would be one eraser and that's not 65, it's six. 62, so it's the six, so she can't have one more eraser to 62. That's half, that's half of the eraser. So where do you think she should have stopped counting erasers? At six. 62. At, at 62? Because really, um, it's five The teacher did not correct Jennifer and instead encouraged the other children to express disagreement. For the development of logic, it is important that children agree or disagree with each other. The boys had to think hard to figure out how Jennifer got 13 and how to convince her that 12 was a better answer. Jennifer defended herself until she was convinced that the others were right. So what would you do now, Jennifer? No, actually, I must have accidentally counted twice or um, so what would you count now? Twelve. You would count twelve? Okay. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Hey, fantastic. Thanks for all your help.
As the children finished solving the problem, they selected math games to play. After they played for 20 to 30 minutes, the teacher asked them to come to the chalkboard for a whole class discussion. OK, let's see. The problem told you that in the school store, erasers cost five cents, five cents each. And Howard had saved up 62 cents. OK, what were you trying to find out? OK, how many erasers could he buy? Raise your hand and tell us what you think. How many erasers could he buy? How many could he buy? Um, Katie, what do you think? Twelve. Twelve. Does anybody think something different than twelve? No. Uh, Madeline? Ten. Ten. Anybody think anything different than twelve or ten erasers? OK, raise your hand if you want to tell us how you know. How do you know? Madeline, why don't you tell us what you did? Um, I did 26 lines. 26 lines? The teacher did not correct Madeline because she wanted the other children to notice the error. 24, 25, 26. And then I um, circled five of them. One, oh, two, three, four, five. I six, 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 And then I put, um, then I put um, the number one on it. Okay, Jennifer, did you want to say something to Madeline? Oh, Question was six. It was sixty-two. Question was sixty-two. Yeah, it's on the math She probably got it turned around. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about the lines, Madeline. What are those? Um, those are um, all the and then um. Those are all the sentences that Howard has. Okay. Howard has sixty-two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then they're saying that he has sixty-two cents. Yeah. You turned it around. He did. I don't think on the math. Okay, so how? What would I need to do differently? Um, you would need to um, do sixty-two. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna need you guys help counting those many lines because that's a lot of lines. Okay, we stopped at um twenty-six. So here we go. Twenty-seven. Good grief. Okay, no. now what? Okay, Madeline. And then I circled five more lines. Circle five more lines. One, two, three, four, five. Tell me why you're circling five. That's racers. Um, that's, um, for the, um, that's one racer and that's two racers. So then you can't use that. Because you can't count the Because you can't use that. What, um, Jordan? You can't count the 62 by five if you went five, 10, 15, 20, like that. But you so can, can buy two. Uh -huh. so you can do it by twos. You could do it by twos and get there. Could we could we solve the problem counting by twos? Yeah. yeah. But no. that'd be kind of hard. Two. Four, two, four. No, it wouldn't. It'd be about 40 erasers. Yeah. Well, could we solve it that way? Yeah. yeah. You could? It still would be the same. So it's the same thing if, it, if I circle five or if I circle two? No, no, it won't no. be the same answer. Because you will even have one more down there. Yeah. Okay, Jennifer? Because, like, two isn't, um, five and if it was five and, um, oh, it would be, um, there would be that much, but if there was two things, um, um, you could buy more erasers. Oh, okay. Two is less than five. Okay, Jennifer's saying that if we were doing it by twos, then the erasers would have to cost two cents each, and then I could buy more. Do you agree with that? Yeah, you could buy, buy more that way? You could buy 13. You think 13? Yeah. Okay, we may try out in a minute and see. Okay, we've got Madeline's 62 tally marks. That's a lot of tally marks. And we counted them up, and she told me to circle fives, and I got down here, and I found out, just like Howard said, that I couldn't circle any more fives. Is that what happened when you did it, Madeline? That's the left. I no, we didn't. Before. We didn't miscount. Okay. I knew it before we did it. You did? Okay, hang on one second. So, Madeline, is that the way yours came out? I think on my last problem, I turned it around. You think you did? Okay, what do you guys think? Do you agree with this? Yeah. Okay, what about these two on the end? Oh, maybe it's just extra like money. Okay, I can only understand one person at a time. Um, Adam, what do you think? Um, that, um, you could, um, okay. just, um, um, Okay, so I couldn't buy any more erasers? No. 
No, like that? Yeah, that'd be your more first lap. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? When we did it this way, my arm got awfully tired of making tally marks. I'm wondering if somebody has a way that might be a little bit faster where I wouldn't have to make so many tally marks. Raise your hand if you have a way that might be a little bit faster. Um, Jason, what was your way? Um, just make fives. Okay, tell me what to do. The, um, right one, five. Um, and then another five. Okay. Another five. What? Another five. Okay. Same way that I How will I know when to stop making fives? When you have Okay, guys, Jason's trying to tell us what he thinks. Count me by five to six because each um, eraser costs five cents. So. So we'd make fives till we got to 60. Okay, we better keep up five. We might forget. So we had five and then 20, Okay, where am I right now? Okay, let's check and make sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay, do I stop here or do I keep going? You put, five, you put, more, you put two more on, on the bottom of it, like right there, because two more, you could write like two more cents. So I need two more, two more? Is that what you did? Okay, now what, Jason? Exactly. That's not why I did. Okay. Um, and then um, the fives told me that, uh, well, the fives were like the cents, the fives were the cents of the erasers, and they counted the fives, and that told, told me how much erasers there were. So you counted how many fives you had? Uh-huh. Okay. Did you agree with yep. Madeline? Uh-huh. It was sort of, I I sort of like that, because that's sort of like that. Okay. Because this is like that's this? That's the yeah. same thing as that is. Okay. Thing. What about another way? Five. What about another way? Okay, you couldn't put another five because it would be too much. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, how about another way? Um, Bobby, what about you? What did you do? Well, um, what I I started out putting now five, mm -hmm. um, by counting up to um, sixty like this, and but it's I did five ten instead of just doing only um that much fives. I did five ten fifty four. Okay, tell me what to write. Okay, and then what? And then after that, I put numbers by them, and I um, count, and then I saw how many, um, how much it was, and it was um, twelve. Okay. What do you think about that one? Do you agree with that? Uh, Taylor, did you have a question, or did you want to show us a different way? A different way. Okay. Um, fifty plus five more <laughs> would um be fifty-five, and then. Plus five more would be 60, plus two more would be 62. Okay. Tell me about where your 50 came from. Oh, what? I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay, hang on. Yeah, you tell me. Wait, one second, guys. Let me make sure I've got it. You said 50 and five more make 60, <laughs> and then two more. I agree. Okay. I agree. I agree. Okay. Hang on, guys. Let her finish, please. 55. 55. 55. That's 55. Yeah. No, um, five more would be um, sixty, and then plus two more would be sixty. Plus two more would be sixty-five. Well, how do you know? Well, how do you know? 
how many um how many it's like how do you know how many um like what if she did that and she didn't add up to 12 because that doesn't add up all the way up to um because it should start to like five okay because then it would be five okay. ten fifteen um, twenty twenty taylor i think bobby had the question for you okay let's listen guys um, how do you know that that equals that has 12 um, erases? Because you can't really see how you get 50 by 12 by some erases. You don't know yeah. how many erases you have. You can't yeah. tell by that. How do you tell? You think for a minute? Can you think of a way that you might know from this? No. A way that you might no. know that? It's know like how many erases? Copying somebody. It's like she's cheating. Okay, she's well, let's think about a way. Let's see if we can think of a way that you can know. Can you think of a way that you might know? Yeah. How many erasers is in all of that? Twelve. Got one. Oh, I know that. For what you guys have already done, but I'm wondering if you can figure out a way. Because 60 plus 12 is not 62. Okay, hang on one second, Bobby. Bobby's saying that we could count up to 50 by fives and see how many that is. What do you think about that? Do you agree with that? You want to try that? Oh, that would be 10 fives? How do you know? Yeah, 10 fives. How do you know, Jordan? Because if he has 10, if he has then that would be on. That would be 50, but if you split it apart, it would be, um, it's Greek. I agree. 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 And you agree with Jordan I, that it takes I, 10 I, of them? I did. I did. I did. I did. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so, so far, with 50, how many erasers do you have? Ten. So you've got 10 erasers with the 50. Okay, then what would you do? We've used that, so I'll cross it out. One with the five. Where does the 11 come from? The 11, five is the plus five. From this five? Yeah. And that's one more eraser? Drop up the five. Okay. And then what? Okay. <laughs> okay, but where do I get my other eraser from? From the other plus five. From this what plus five? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's another eraser? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that all equals 12, and it equals 60 cents, too. And you can't use it, too, for um, anything. Two cents for an eraser. Okay. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah, I agree. Do you agree with that, Kim? How do you know? I forgot. Okay. Uh, Mary Ann? I agree with Jordan because you have 10, 11, and then you have 11 over there, and then 12. An important thing in the whole class discussion was the exchange of viewpoints among the children. The teacher recorded each speaker's explanation so that everybody would understand what was being said. Sometimes teachers object when we write things like this. However, this was an accurate representation of a child's thinking and was not meant to be a mathematical equation. When teachers focus on children's numerical thinking, children develop confidence and a deep understanding of mathematics.